Hello everybody and welcome back to Outer Worlds where we're gonna get in this elevator if I can find the correct direction. We're gonna go down. The back bay you can just take an elevator, it's not even guarded. That doesn't I can't how do we how a serious stranger turns our way ray way of life, the destruction of Emerald Vale. <gasps> oh dang, is that is I was like it's me, but I think it might actually be me. I don't know. Hi. Who the? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. I got a big gun too, a hole. What up? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling oh, on no, the grill. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Yum, yum. You're not cannibals, are you? Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. Uh, Dodge, then. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Persuade, put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. I have a very nice voice. I was just distracting you, nothing personal. Um, I'm here for some parts. I, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm here for some parts, Dream Lay sent me. That's right, sir, just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. You guys are crazy. What are you doing to that poor engineer? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and yeah. toasting to the memory of our brain cells. How are they still alive? Making this broken angel fly again. So can I grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're Hang standing on. My in his My pers persuasion skill is high. Bring tribute, sacrifices, uh, prophecy, hmm. shit like that. These parts are leaking deadly toxins. I don't know. That sounds like something they don't really care about. Uh, I don't know. I'll try a lie. I'll try a lie. I have a pretty good lie. I'll try that. These parts are leaking deadly toxins. You're crazy. Muscle. What? Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Uh, some else? Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. How'd you end up back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to sublight. Scrapped for parts. <laughs> That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Mm, that's a good way to put it. Sounds a lot like what happened to me, except I got my ship unimpounded. Unimpounded, yeah. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, <laughs> must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. Bye. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. It's your sure thing. All right, I do feel like we might be better off um, just killing them all, but uh, that's kind of like old Bess's help on pipes. A medical drone? You have medical drones? Yo, this is where the medical drones have, been, have gone to? Give me your medical drones. Can you get that automatic patch? McGrath wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It hasn't got a heart? Not like us. What is that? Are those just auto mechanicals? Okay. Scrap mechanical. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this accessible? No. Is this stealing? It is stealing. Dang. What's over here? 
Name? No. That's not mine. Oh, mm, mm, mm. this is something I could shoot. Why are you all dressed up fancy, kind of? Private Letty Dixon. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. Are you sane? Um. What we'll bring. I think I came to grab some radiator parts. Engineering could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. What? Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. I just not done. Be seeing you, stranger. Are you. S what? I was gonna. I was afraid to ask her, like, what brings you down here? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, wait, wait. Also, like, mm hmm. I feel like I just sent, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a brainwashed spy. Oh, jeez. Can I have. I can't have those. I could break the glass, but. Do, 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 do. I think I did something not great. We need more engineers, but uh, I don't know anything about that woman, and I just sent her back up topside. I feel like I did a whoopsie. McGregor gave me a taste of the good stuff. I'm gonna turn this into something. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as me. What's this? What's this? Outlaw sniper. Man, it would be a nightmare. Find a new friend. My backside still smarts. Does everyone get branded when they join McRed's crew? Nope. Your ass is a priceless canvas now that it's home to an original McRed. I guess I'm honored. Uh huh. What are you do? What is this? Hmm. Outlaw squad leader. When I look at you, all I see is life. You're all high as freak and dangerous. Oh jeez. Something's gotta happen with these. Something something's gotta happen. Some sort of ventilation stuff. Maybe I could have gotten in and out that way. Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Uh, yep, yeah, I can't. I was gonna say, I recognize this. This looks very familiar. <laughs> do, do, do. But they've broken everything. Okay. I gotta go this way. Uh, now, well, okay, now I don't know where I'm going. <sighs> keep going down? Keep, keep going down? Is there, is there a way to do that? From here? Or is it a duct thing? Local, nope. Looks like the only elevator's here. I'm curious. Oh, oh, mm, I didn't go over here. Today's my birthday. That's so great. Oh yeah. Fuck your birthday. <gasps> oh, oops, put that down. How do I duck? Okay. I'll keep quiet. Oh, gotta pay attention to the ladders. I guess I could have tried to sneak my way into here. I don't know. I think you can't really sneak when you get in here. The guy sees you immediately. This place is falling apart. Unless I actually did, you know, oops. Oh, wait. 
Unless I was able to sneak through the ventilation, which uh, I didn't need to. Fantastic, we've got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> nope. Put it away. Wee. <laughs> My gosh, I keep pulling that out. Okay, so we just um, just out then. All right, that was um, easy. Wait. Oh, here's the oh. All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. That was way easier than I thought it would be. At least so far, not worried. <laughs> Great for sneak attacks and bunch of three of your armor. It would be nice to do sneak attacks, but um, I'm just going full throttle in this game. I'm saving my sneak stuff for other games. I feel like there's these two, these, some of these things have just been too easy. I'm getting worried. Like there's like, it didn't even say sealed on those what looked like vent hatches. Put the put the weapon away. Calm down. Uh, oh yeah, through here. Hey, I can. I can help you. Apparently, I don't know. It's weird. It's a little weird. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I can't believe you had these still. What well, now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Mm, and a fine slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Maybe they're part of the problem. I got your parts, why do I have to do some maintenance? Go to some maintenance shaft. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. I sent you a possible psycho. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. I do have engineering skills. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. She's being very nice to Parvati. Thank you for being nice to Parvati. She needs this. She needs the encouragement. Um, where's this? Oh, this was the sealed. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. You all made it. I'm so happy to see you here. Mass Effect vibes. Where's my chill jazz music? The controls are on the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiator. Maybe I shouldn't be firing a gun in here. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, everybody calm down. Where are they? Are they in here with us somewhere? Oh. What? In there? Here they come! Something, something, something in the back of the shaft. I need all that. Need that. Ooh, a necklace. Wow, this place is. I don't think it's supposed to be this color. This is very hot, probably. I think 
Actually, yeah, you can. You can see the air. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuits are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. All right, I'm going in. Processing. Where'd they go? Oh, they're up there. Let's see. I'm not a sneaky type. And I go. Here they come! Excellent kick! Thank you, they're very encouraging. I'll just take some of the extra stuff from them. I mean, I guess we could try sneaking. Oops. I'm just not very good at it. like to be sneaky about it, but it, alas. Oh, are these uh, places where mechanicals sit? Oh, okay. I mean, as long as that guy doesn't follow me, I guess I'm not too concerned. If he's just gonna stay there. Are you gonna be deployed? You're, you're gonna be deployed later, aren't you? know what that means what that because I'm a mechanic. Did you, did you die? Oh, okay, there you go. That's the last of Come on, gimme, gimme. Stuff, weapon parts, Adreno, I don't even use it, but here I am. It's probably the way out. Yikes. Was there not a door over here? Oh, okay. Logs. Uh, old plans, new problems. Found some achieved gains on schematics. Groundbreaker must take it up beating during the crossing because she spent half her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that may have been forgotten still off long, along the way, like blood cells, isolating, and infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some work around the guts of the old bird, I c it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Aww. Cobbled together. The staff are getting restless. Work around and half-cock solutions are all we've got to mend groundbreakers' bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma will live with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what, what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreakers' real tests will see if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. I don't know. Done. The temperatures are dropping. You need a strong leader. Once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. Have I been through here? Uh, maybe? Apparently I have. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Once again, this feels too easy. How did I get down? Or up, rather. Oh, there it is. Oops. Put your weapon away, you maniac. There's all this explosive stuff in here, but it's really not a good idea. Hello? Archive logs and transmissions. 
some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined in writing before I ever set foot on the ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson or a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Oh, nice. It's like the original chief. To H HB Earth HQ transmitted via probe archive at source. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker successfully arrived at the Long Range Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages ones and two of this mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract. Keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair shop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I close this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Nice. That's really cool. To find like a bits of, to find the bits of history and if you were, you know, the family of the person like to um This is the simple truth. To find we are all like remnants of your family. Machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Uh-huh. Therefore, our lives mm -hmm. are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Mm -hmm. Life is fated and unstoppable. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mr. Vicar. That seems like quite a leap. Mm. What lovely elevator talk. We're all trapped in the same room together. This is Halcyon Dune. We interrupt your regular... Hello, I feel like everything's going to blow up now. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all whoop from boiling alive. Whoop whoop. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Ooh. Except uh, you guys don't have you don't have much apparently. Oh, we got welder's goggles and our groundbreaker reputation. Leveled up? Jeez. Well, I did. Oh, you guys, you guys, do I have to worry about you leveling up? Not really. Distance medium? Well, dang, they're super close. Uh, let's see, I wanted to put more into Malay. You always throw a little bit into dialogue. And... Oh, we're getting so close. Actually, if I took one out of dialogue... Oops. There we go. Unlock TTD location hit effects. I need to use that more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I put it into some leadership. Very good. We done did it, kids. We garnered ourselves some reputation. Hello? You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Am I? Well, why are you running out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. Nah. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Uh-huh. Uh, this is the Groundbreakers Message Center? Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Dang. Of course, we're about to go dead, so 
I may be reappropriated to architect knows where doing law knows what soon enough. So why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That's not great. And that's our problem, how? Uh, what, you're such an a-hole. We got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Um... How are you cut off by losing one relay station? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. That means everybody else Ships would, too. and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Mm. Standard space tech. What about other auxiliary relay stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Uh-huh, yep. Can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. Oh! No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. Of course. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreaker's neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. She's I finally like, yeah. got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. The, the, uh, the personnel loss? It's like, oh, we're figuring into it the personnel loss for it, and Junlei is like, no. Uh, seems irresponsible to not have fixed your backup relay before now. We don't know why it went down or if it's even a hardware related issue. Oh, it's the board. Getting a team out there takes time and money, neither of which we have readily on hand. And we do have multiple auxiliaries, just they won't be in orbital range during the next few months. Our backup station will be. If it weren't for the occlusion event coming our way, we'd be doing fine as always. Mm, I can check out the relay. No need, no need for official sign off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe why you not? can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. You can have it right now. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Yeah, eh? You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Really? I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. All right. Interesting. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, will this guy talk to me now? Wait. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a hell of a light show from the droplet arrays. Mm. Thanks for the help. Let me know if you ever need to borrow a wrench or something. Repairs are holding just fine. Hey, well, how come you have a name and I can't actually talk to you? This is Halcyon Noon. Am I going out? What, what does it want me to do? Passage to anywhere. Look, Gladys. I can also check the bounty board and the docking bay, didn't I? Oh, I checked. Not the docking bay bounty board. Mm, and apparently I could turn in the scientist guy, maybe, for money. Um, I don't need it. I'll get it. Where is this old shop. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. 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 I mean, that's where... Name? Nope. 
It's indeed Vorsworth. It's not the worst, unless it's Vorsworth. She's sitting in here. Unless it's further. Through the wall somehow? That's where she is. Why does it have me... Oh! I can't just go to his lab. Oh, and Gladys is shot for old records. Okay. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Oh, well, it's probably stuff in there, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've already been through this whole place. I feel like there's ventilation shaft stuff that I'm not having access to. Heck, sure, access guest messages from Rizzo. Mr. McRed, we have reviewed your proposal for the tenth time and do not agree that the galactic mushroom is acceptable flavor for a Rizzo beverage. Uh, <laughs> the open package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Been a while since I heard from you on the on call to Dash Cobra right now. I've got space for you, it's quiet and safe. One of the EV schoolers came asking after you. Wanted to know what you like to drink, who you like to talk to, what your temperature for mint's light, tried to pay me off. I took the bits and told her to pack a lot. I'd watch your back when you get back. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal chute. From Veritas to Iceman. Steel toss ball cards. Oh hey, what's up? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's almost like it's almost like telling me I could ask her, ask her some info about it, but I don't know if I actually can. Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. Uh huh. Um, want to ask something? What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom. Um. Hmm. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Maybe I could ask her. I don't know. But I should probably call this episode here. But thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I gotta get some food. I hope you all are having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.